Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to build this camera tripod made of concrete. So why would I build a camera tripod out of concrete, you may ask? Well, there are a few reasons. As you probably know, concrete is a very versatile and low-cost material that can be made into an endless number of shapes and designs. It's also very solid and stable, both qualities that you'd want in a tripod. Oh yeah, there's the matter of a contest being put on by Quickrete, which challenged us to see what kind of creative designs we could make using a bag of concrete. So that's what I did. Now, of course, the downside of this design is you would not want to throw this tripod into a backpack and take it with you to a location to shoot some pictures or videos. This item is intended to be set up in one place and pretty much stay in that place. Now, while I've been telling you about this project, you've been watching me make some of the pieces of the mold that will be used to make the pieces of this tripod. So here you see me cutting this triclover shaped piece that will become an insert for the mold that will be used to make the base of the tripod. And this tube is a cardboard form that is normally used for casting posts into the ground. So I'm using it to make the outside shape of the base of my tripod. And here you can see the uh, assembled mold for the base. And here I'm taking a uh, toy traffic cone and I'm using it to make another part of my mold. So I just need that tip part to make a, a little cone piece. And here I'm tracing it onto a board. I'm going to cut that shape into the board. And I want that uh, round, I want that tapered part to match in the board so that that cone will fit inside the uh, board. So I'm cutting that on an angle. You can see the way the scroll saw is set up. It's cutting on an angle to give me that taper shape. And here I'm building up some boards that I'm going to use to make some other parts of the mold. So I need that thickness to uh, give me something to cut into. And uh, you'll see this next shot, you'll see how I'm cutting it on an angle. And here I am using a plastic cup to cut another piece that I'm going to use as a mold. Alright, so I wanted to show you the uh, various parts of this mold that I'm going to use to create the parts of the uh, tripod. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put it together and we'll show you what it's going to look like. I thought I'd take a little break and show you what I've done with this first one, this post mold. So actually <laughs> look at it and it uh, looks like it's pretty solid built. I'm sure this thing will hold the concrete, no problem. So here is the concrete we're going to use. Show you that. And a little wide shot sort of thing. Let's see if I can a little wider. Okay, so you can see my molds here. And I'm going to take, I'm going to use about half of the concrete, mix this thing up. So let's do it. Okay. Let's bring it here. 
disappear. So far, so good, I'd say. And time to pour these before it gets too dry. Dump that in there because I got it's too small of an opening and I need to get that in there. Come up here and show you the molds how they turned out. So this one here. Turn this down. There you go. And then this one. This one and this one. So, all right, well, we'll see what happened in two days. So, I brought these molds back in from the outside. I had poured them outside and now I brought them in to uh, tear them apart. I wanted to get a good look at them under the light, and it, actually, it's dark outside right now. So, so why don't we start with um, this one? easy this guy so now this has to come out like this there we go all right let me get this cup off yeah oh yeah okay looks like the top didn't quite fill in so we got a little bit of a funny shape there but overall, not bad. All right, let's get one of these guys going. These look real interesting. So. There we go. All right. All right. <laughs> that is not bad looking. Not at all. As you can see, I got this apart. This one uh, didn't go so well. I got a piece broke off here, so that's too bad. But still, for the most part, the shape came out. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is try this thing out here. I got to try it. It's kind of heavy. Let's see what we got. Yeah, not bad. A little tipsy, but not bad. And then the other thing I want to see is how does this go on here? And that, that goes on nice because it's just a little guy. Well, what do you think? Oh, you can't see that, can you? I'll show you that, the way that fits on there. So that, that was not bad. But I need more than that to make a tripod. So, so since I had some mixed results with that first pour, I thought I'd take one more shot, so I got my molds back set up and I used uh, a new lot of uh, concrete and I put some red dye in the water this time so I got a red color in my parts. But you can see the way they molded here and uh, we're going to see if they turned out any better this time. Alright, so you can see the results of my attempt here. Uh, this base piece here is not the greatest looking. It's not bad. You got to kind of look at it half glass full type of thing. But um, the part that disappointed me, of course, was the cracking of this little leg piece. But um, I think I can fix it. There's ways to uh, join concrete to itself. So I'm going to check that out. And then this piece, uh, this cast it pretty good, actually. 
not bad. It didn't quite fall out here. But the screw came in pretty straight, which I'm glad about that. So that piece is not bad looking. This is the big disappointment. Uh, apparently I really did a terrible job of mixing that material. Uh, it's the same material, but for some reason, when I filled this part in, it casted really bad. Okay, so here's where we're at. I've got the pieces made uh, as best I can. So first thing I want to do is finish up with this base piece. So I did do a repair on it. Uh, I did find a s material that was I was able to seal or rejoin that that base that broke off and it made a pretty good joint. We'll see how strong it is. And I want to show you how these uh, casters go into these little uh, cast in uh, coupling nuts. So I just screw these casters in here. I think I got that down in there. All right. Just turn it over. See how that looks. All right. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? Ooh, wants to tip over. <laughs> and I'll show you this piece. This is that top part. And uh, this is a tripod head that I have. So what I'm going to do is take this head and I'm going to attach it to this piece so that it will give me that base to attach to the top of that. Like so. So now I got that head on there. What I decided to do is make these little plates and that would allow me to uh, put these casters out a little further out so that this thing will be a little bit more stable. So these holes match these little uh, nuts that are already in the cast into the uh, base. So I'm going to screw these in and then gently tighten it, not too tight because this thing could crack. And then get one of these on here, so like this. See how that turned out. Oh yeah, that is much more stable. That's not going to tip over. All right, let me show you how this finished product worked out. So you can see what I got here. This whole thing is a assembly of these various pieces that I cast separately. So let me go work my way up from the bottom. So I've got this base here that I cast and it's um, I actually attached some uh, metal plates and I put the casters on the ends of the metal plates and that way the uh, the whole assembly is a lot more stable than it was. I originally had the casters on the bottom. And uh, from there I've got this post here that fits right onto this base and I've got a second post and then I've got this base, uh, this little top piece and it has a threaded, uh, it has a screw that was cast into it and then that screws right into this little tripod head and so this whole assembly behaves just like a regular tripod. I got the, you know, I can do the panning and everything and so forth. So works out pretty good. You can see there's a little bit of rocking going on and I tried to address that with uh, these little rubber spacer pieces. So I made these things to kind of make, make up for some of the gaps between the pieces and they helped a lot. Uh, I may even make some more of those rubber spacers or I may need to cast these pieces again this is a very precise fit here. This cavity over here and then the way this fits on here. And it was not easy to get all that to fit just right, but I, I did pretty good for first try. Mm -hmm. So I can adjust the height of this uh, based on just within the lengths of these posts. So if I take this top piece off and then I can take one of these posts off, set it down here, and now I can put this on top of here. So now I got a little shorter setup. And then I can go another step and I can take this post off and just set this top piece right on top of the base. And now I got a really short setup. Say if I want to do, a, if I want to put this up on a desk or something, or if I do want to do a low shot, that's also possible. So anyway, I think this turned out really nice. Um, learned a lot about how to mold, make molds for concrete, how to cast concrete, how to mix it. Um, so lots of cool learning uh, opportunities there. And uh, overall, I think it turned out really nice. So I uh, hope you liked the project. Uh, be interested in your comments. And uh, in the meantime, I'm Mike, and I've been thinking.